what's up y'all? I hope everyone is well. I'm just sitting here making myself some lunch, but I just had a whole like, Whoa! and I was like, oh, ding, 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 must get on. So I was on YouTube listening to a gentleman named Kyle Cease, and he was on his friend Rachel's podcast having a conversation about love, dating, attachment from a spiritual perspective, from what haven't we healed? What is asking to be healed? How does that show up? And they started talking about the idea of being ghosted. And as soon as they were talking, they struck something for me because they were talking about your inner child and how your inner child shows up in these dynamics and begins to dictate the conditions of the situation. The person doing the ghosting is likely responding from some unhealed child part of themselves. The person who feels ghosted is responding from some unhealed child part of themselves. But what I thought about, because they were like, why do we even call it ghosting? And I was like, oh, we call it ghosting because the person has left, but their presence has not. That a person can stop engaging you, but you still be connected to their energy. Because if you were not still connected to their energy, then they wouldn't feel like a ghost. They would just be gone. I never feel like the person at the grocery store who I interact with, when they're not at work the next time, I don't feel ghosted, <laughs> right? We had an exchange and then we didn't have an exchange again. I don't feel ghosted, right? And so the only way that we can feel ghosted is if we have attached to that person's energy such that when they withdraw their personhood, we still feel connected to them. We feel haunted, right? We literally feel like they left, but their energy is still here. You know, the reason why that felt like such an important aha to me is because that's a choice. That is a choice related to the energy of a specific kind of connection, right? It is an attachment to a thing you thought was going to be that is no longer. When we are in an experience of being in the moment, right? When we're present with whatever it is, when it is, then when that changes, when it leaves, we don't feel like it should be something else because everything is exactly what it is at that time. And so, you know, if nothing else, I just feel like it's a really interesting place to practice non-attachment. When I feel ghosted, what was I expecting from this person? And what am I still expecting from this person? Because whatever that remaining or lingering expectation is, is the energy of, of attachment. It's the energy of wanting someone to do something for you. Now, you know, I'm not, I'm certainly a person who believes that like communication is ideal and just naming what it is that works for you or doesn't work for you is ideal. But that also is an expectation that other people show up in the way that I desire them to, which is unto itself an attachment, right? The attachment that people will communicate the way I want them to, as opposed to being a person who acknowledges that my energy is mine and that I can invite people into my energy and I can uninvite people into my energy. And it is the easiest to do that when I am making those exchanges without expectations about some future point that does not exist. When I'm staying inside of the present, I can have an exchange and then that exchange is complete when it's complete. And whatever is next is next, right? So it's just an interesting, I think it's a place to play around with perspective that may give us some access to some peace, power, joy, pleasure, or ease in our lives. And that's certainly what I'm going for. All right. Have a good one. Bye.